it's Katie. From eating in front of a mirror to eating parasites, here are nine of the craziest ways to lose weight ever. Number nine, tongue patch. This one is pretty sick and not at all recommended. How would you feel about having a patch sewed onto your tongue? The tongue patch dye is a program where a surgeon attaches a patch to the top of your tongue. The purpose is a lot less scientific than you think. It's placed so that eating is painful, so painful that you can't handle eating solid foods. The dye was created in 2009 by Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Nicholas Chigay. He got the idea from a friend in Mexico who was doing something similar. He introduced it as an alternative to a gastric bypass surgery or a lap band. The Marlex patch is stitched to the tongue, which takes less than 10 minutes. Afterward, eating solid food is so painful that users can only eat through a straw. Because of this, Chugay offers an 800 calorie diet. The patch can easily be removed at any time. Though, if you wait more than a month, the tongue may start growing over the patch. Although, the diet works due to the low calorie plan, patients often have a swollen tongue and difficulty speaking the first week of the diet. Critics say that the patch could be swallowed and choke the user. Others say an infection could be caused. Although more popular in Venezuela, Chugay is still the only surgeon in the US that offers this procedure that has not yet been approved by the FDA. Number eight, blue blue everywhere. This one is passive and psychological and dates back to our ancient ancestors. Blue makes you eat less. Let's start by naming all the naturally blue foods you can think of. Berries, yeah. Okay, so in general, blue is not meant to be consumed, nor is it associated with food. Even way back in the day when our ancestors went to gather food, blue was seen as a lethal food that was most likely poison. Even today, when food is dyed blue, people tend to reject the idea of eating it. Would you eat a blue piece of broccoli? It has been proven that red excites your appetite. The same could be said that blue suppresses it. When given a choice of unnaturally dyed food, blue is generally chosen last. Did you know that you eat with your eyes first, then your nose and your mouth last? So how can this blue dye be turned into something that doesn't involve dyeing all of your food blue? Studies show that blue wallpaper, plates, and tablecloths also suppress your appetite. Think about that next time you're picking out your dishes. Number seven, pay with cash. Did you know that paying with cash makes you spend less money? It's true. Studies show that whenever you have to forfeit the physical cash rather than using a credit card, you will subconsciously feel it is more value. One study took 14,000 credit union members. First, they had them study users paying with cash for less than $20 purchases. The users were also reminded that using a credit card can add up to 20% to their purchase. It was proven that when customers that were reminded that using a credit card would charge them extra, spent less than before they were reminded. This means they started paying with cash, but they also started spending less in general. Another study showed that people who pay with cash will spend half as much as those who pay with card. So how can this help you make healthy choices? And sure, it can't, but it can help you eat less. At a restaurant, you could pay with cash to skip the dessert and order a small. Number six, eat on a date. How can eating on a date help you lose weight? Well, there has to be a reason women always eat before their date, yes. They don't want the men to see them eat. That's because when we are eating, we feel less attractive. When we eat with the girls, we don't really care. And when we eat alone, we really don't care. But when we eat with the men, we want to appear feminine, graceful, and self-controlled. McMaster University did one study that involved over 450 students. They were divided into three cafeterias. The women who ate with men chose a lot lower calorie food than those who ate with any other woman. It was even shown that women who ate with a large group of women ate over 100 calories more than with just one or two other women. The same woman who ate with a man ate 100 fewer calories, and those who ate with more than a couple of men ate nearly half the calories they ate when they were with a group of women. This study did nothing to suggest gender-affected male serving sizes, but another study suggested that men tend to imitate the serving sizes of the women they are with. Not only that, 
But the bigger the woman is, the less he eats. This was unexplainable, but it all should tell us something. Don't let those you are with affect your eating habits. Number five, get an accountant. Not that kind of accountant, but rather an accountability partner. This means that people who have someone they record their meal plans and exercise routine with are more likely to stay on track. People who tell someone what they are going to eat are much more likely to eat what they say they are going to. You may feel guilty if you don't stay on track when you aren't accountable to anyone, but when you are, the result is amplified. But if you don't have anyone who will be accountable for you, studies show that people who keep a meal plan on paper tend to stick to their diet plan. One crazy tactic involves taking pictures of every food that you eat. Whenever you pick something up, you'll think, do I really want to take a picture of that? At the end of the day, you look through your photos and you can either cringe or be proud of your decisions. Number four, eat in front of a mirror. A common trend when trying to lose weight is to eat in front of a mirror. And no, it's not so you can see how much you need to lose those extra pounds you gained over the holidays. The point is that watching yourself eat fried foods and sweets makes the food seem less appealing. The University of Central Florida took almost 200 undergrad students. The group was divided into two rooms, one room with mirrors and the other one without mirrors. In the room, the individuals were given the choice to eat fruit salad or cake. I will take the cake. The students who ate cake in the room with the mirrors thought that it didn't taste as good as the people eating the same cake in the room without mirrors. On the same note, both rooms thought the fruit salad tasted the same. Eating unhealthy food in front of a mirror gives the eaters an outside view of themselves and the situation. They feel inadequate judging their actions. They feel uncomfortable, guilty, and thus cannot focus on the taste of the food. They also feel repulsed by what they are doing and turned off by the food. This effect works the same at home as it did in the study. Put a mirror in front of the table and the study suggests you'll eat healthier. Number three, tapeworm diet. Normally, tapeworms are something you want to get rid of, not the other way around. Those who are squeamish may be cringing already. It's called the tapeworm diet. This extremely dangerous diet involves ingesting tapeworms in order to lose weight. One of the most common side effects from eating these worms are cysts in the liver, eyes, brain, and spinal cord. But don't worry, it is illegal to ingest them in the US. Mexico, on the other hand, in select places offer tapeworms as a diet aid. You can find treatment locations where you are given the prescription for beef tapeworm cyst. The tapeworm is ingested before it disrupts your digestion and absorption of nutrients. This will make it where you can eat more and still lose weight. But being a parasite, it also can rid your body of vitamins and other vital nutrients. The centers that give you these worms allow you to reach the desired weight by eating as you normally do and losing a couple of pounds a week. After you reach your desired weight, you're dewormed much like a dog. The cost is about $1,500 and is only legally available in Mexico. Number two, HCG. The HCG diet is no doubt the most controversial diet of the century. It consists of eating 500 calories a day and taking supplements, often in the form of an injection. HCG stands for human chorionic gonotropin, however you say that, and is the injection that is taken several times a week. If the starvation of eating 500 calories isn't enough, then you'll want to know where HCG comes from. The hormone is extracted from the placenta of a pregnant woman. It is found only in pregnant women and men with cancer. This can be a problem when you go to the doctor and are wrongfully pronounced pregnant or told you have cancer. The way the diet works is you are put on a 500 calorie diet which will send your body into a starvation mode. The recommended calorie intake can range anywhere from 1200 a day to 2000 a day. The idea of eating 500 calories a day will send 99% of medical professionals into a tizzy. To get the idea of how much someone on the diet can eat, imagine a plate. On this plate is a small chicken breast along with a large apple and a pile of green beans. This is what someone on the HCG diet would consume in one day. That is breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one. Oh my god. When the body goes into this starvation mode from being malnourished, it will begin to get its protein from the muscle in the heart. This can lead to ventricular tachycardia or sudden cardiac death. Number one. Spoon diet. The concept of the spoon diet is relatively simple and not harmful. There is only one rule. You can eat anything as long as it is with a normal sized spoon. And yes, 
It is easy as it sounds, but if you think about it, it's pretty smart. Try eating french fries, pizza, a snack cake with a spoon. At first, people ate their yogurt and placed their piece of fruit on a spoon before eating. Others resorted to small portions of popcorn and frustratingly eating potato chip crumbs. Of course, the more advanced diners resorted to mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. But hey, with a few tweaks and limits, it could really work. This even cancels out soda, right? What do you think about these scary tips? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and see you next time on Peachy Planet. Bye!